What's up guys, it's Sparky. Today we are gonna learn two very easy turret builds. These are the most basic, simple, and efficient builds you can build. The first, closes the doors automatically as soon as there's no ammo. The second, opens the doors whenever enemies are near, and then closes whenever there's no ammo. And let's get into the build. All right, so first thing you're gonna need is power. I like to do red for power. First thing you'll need is a switch. This turret build is extremely simple, very efficient. Power in. Oh my God, that is ugly. I, I'm sorry. Okay. And then we'll need our branch and power out. Go ahead and turn it to gray and power our branch. Right, branch powered. This side is gonna go to our turret. And so we need orange. Now you definitely don't have to make it as neat as I make it, but it just looks so nice, you know? Turret. All right. Power in. All right. And so now, we're going to need the uh, output of our turret, which is the no ammo output. No ammo. And this no ammo output is going to go straight to our switch off. It's going to keep any power from going into our circuit when our turret has no ammo. I will demonstrate in a moment. And the last step is to get some door switches or door controllers and put them on your doors. One there, one there. And for doors, I like to do white. Uh, I don't know why I keep on trying to do emote. I don't know why. All right, so white for doors. To the input to the power in that's where you need to go and then power out just needs to go to you know another door or whatever you want to go to and you'll have to adjust power for that all right so we have everything set up it takes like i don't know three minutes and we're ready to turn on and try it out got plenty of power I'm going to deauthorize on this turret. Close these doors up. And now we're ready to go. All right, so turning on opens the doors. Once your bolty detects a person, it'll start shooting. Our next turret will be a little more complex. So stick around and see how that one turns out. If this is all you wanted from the video, uh, I hope you liked it. So please like and subscribe. On to the next section. All right, fellas, welcome back. Time to do Smart Turret version two. That was version one, I guess. This one will include a heartbeat sensor to open and close your doors. And requires only 16 power so we're going to go ahead and pick up the build we just made and start from scratch we'll leave the splitter there and we'll leave the door power there all right so first thing put on your door controllers sure you can put on your heartbeat sensor i have to put mine as a little base nipple on the ground all right so this one, not too terribly complicated either. We'll need a switch. And then two electrical branches and an ant. And that's it. We'll have the world's smartest turret for very little cost. All right, let's do this. So first things first, we're gonna power our switch. 
and then we will power our first branch. And then go ahead and power your second branch from the branch out. All right. So this first power out of the branch, not the branch out, power out. We're going to go to our turret and I like to use orange for turret. And that's going to go to our power in that powers our turret. And same as the last build, we're going to go ahead and take our no ammo output from our turret. Bring it over here. Or switch off to cut the power off. So now this is where we get a little different from our last build. We got our power out and our branch out. So we need to go ahead and power our and from our power out. Be the first thing we do. Do you save your work here? You're practicing with turrets. Okay. Oh, it's not a right angle. Okay. Also, not a right angle. And so now we need to fill this other input of our and to power our doors. We're going to take the branch out of our branch. Our second branch, branch number two, if you will. And we're gonna bring this all the way to the power in of our heartbeat sensor. And take the power out, the output, basically saying there is a person nearby. And bring that over. And I'm sure this is horrible to watch. But this is how I like to wire things to our input. So we have basically anded together the power out and our heartbeat sensor. So this is going to open our doors. Yay. Doors. All right. And I like to do white for doors. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Wait a minute. Gotta make this straight. Can't have anything not straight. Alright, so our the output of our AND is gonna go straight to our door controllers. Straight to the power in. Then power out can go to your second door controller or whatever you want to do. Alright, we are ready to go. Except this first branch right here, we need to set the branch to four. If you don't, it won't work. Trust me. Don't forget this. It's importante step out. All right. Um, do I have ammo? I don't. Let me go ahead and deauthorize. Close these doors up. We are ready to test out our turret. Power on. La di da di da. Oh yes. And to test it, you have to set up your heartbeat detector to notice authorized players. All right, here we go. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you very much for watching. This has been very fun to make. Uh, I'm actually a automation and controls engineer so uh this is kind of fun this is a fun th fun thing to do bring your work home you know you know what they say but anyway like and subscribe if you want to see more i plan on doing a smart home build where all of this will be managed from one central hub power will be managed Earths will be managed. Maybe even some Tesla coils. We'll get into some funny things. But uh, thanks for watching. Yep. See you.